Hey everybody, I know I haven't made a video in a long time, so I'm sorry, but um, I got a couple requests from other YouTubers to do a collection tour, so I'm going to do that, and I'll just go in order of how they are and my, how they are, and like how they're placed, so first off I have Jasmine, Briarfest 2011 Special Run, I made her halter and lead rope, lead chain fell. Yeah, I'll fix that later. And next I have Once Upon a Time, another special run from Briarfest. I made his halter as well. And he he likes to come out of his stand, but he took eighth place at the sport in the sports breed class at the youth show. Um next I have Kong. All these horses here are from Briarfest. Uh, from this year's Briarfest, I mean like 2011. So, um, I met the real Kong and his model is exactly like him, as it should be. And he's, he, I love, I love him. Like, he's really big. <laughs> then I have Sato with his halter that I made. See if I can get it to focus. There. So, that's his halter. Best halter I've ever made. And that's his show name. Painted Canvas. Mine has really crisp markings, no blurred edges or anything. But, um, he does have quite a few rubs and scuffs and all that. Because, um, well I did get him new in box at Briarfest, but he just had a lot of factory flaws. And I took him outside one day to do pictures with him, or to take pictures of him, and he fell and got some rubs, so that sucks, but I wasn't planning on showing him in the first place, because it's, I don't, I don't know, I wouldn't be able to find a breed for him. I could just do a paint thoroughbred cross like the real horses, but I kind of tried to be a little bit more creative in my breeds, so that wouldn't work. And next I have Dusty. I didn't make his tack. Um, Ride and Shine model horse tack made it. I've got a pin from last year's Briarfest. Uh, I really like him. He's got the cutest little face. But he is a she, apparently, on his model. But the real horse is a boy. So I don't know what happened. His dapples are really amazing. But he has, like, I don't know if I did this, maybe? He has, like, this gray, almost greenish color above his eye. I don't think that would, like, prevent him from being showable, but still, it's kind of weird. And he has a red dot on his leg somehow. Because he was, like, perfect when I took him out of his box, so I guess I did that. I don't know how, but I did, I guess. And next I have the Akal Teke. I think that's how you say it. I looked it up, but I don't remember. Um, the limited edition from 2007, and I took him on vacation to the beach, and he was completely LSQ except for like a paint bristle in his neck right there. But then he got a couple of rubs. There's like one under here. I don't want to lift his blanket up, but now he's not really LSQ. I mean, I could show him on this side, but I don't know. I probably won't. Next I have um, Harmony. I made his halter too. Um, he's probably the best horse I got at Briarfest because I've been looking for him for years and I finally found him. He's one of my favorites. Um, his dapples are really nice too. But he does have like a couple of rubs that were from the box because he was in his box for four and a half years maybe because he'd never been taken out of it. I'll fix the lead ropes for them later. Then I have Cupcake. Got him at Briarfest this year, but he's a 2009 special run left over. He's really cute. Like, I love his color. It's like a honey bay color, I guess. And then I have my one of my Pecoses, the other one's over there. 
his box. But yeah, I hate I hate the finish on this horse. It's so pearly. I hate it. Like really sucks. Okay. And next I have Wish on a Star. Another special run. He has flea bites all over him, these little roan colored flea bites, like and that sock really irritates me. But he has the exact same markings as the ethereal earth horse, so that's kind of weird. This stamp and he has really nice pinking on his butt, but that's kind of weird to say, but it's really realistic looking on, on his muzzle. My camera's not picking it up, but he's really detailed. If I could focus it there. So that's him. The next I have, or Once Upon a Time has the exact same markings as Star Studded from last year's Briar Fist 2. Like, Briar reused the stencils, and it's really stupid because they should be more creative, except he doesn't have a sock on his hoof there. But, um, next I got Isadora Cruz. I really like her. Her blue eyes kind of creepy, though. But she's really nice. Okay, next I have Applejack. He's really cute. He's like so cute. I love him. And this blanket is meant for a classic, so that just shows you how small he is. Like it's a little tight, but it's he still fits it, so it's I don't know, it's he's just so tiny. But I'm probably gonna show him next year, except he has like a his paint missing right there, a little dot of that, but it's kind of like on the inside of his leg, so you can't see it really from there, so I don't think it'll matter that much. But he's kind of boring. I mean, they could have given him some white. He's just so dull. And then, one of my, uh, babies is my spun gold horse, the Overo one. One of 390. And he is, like, completely, perfectly LSQ. There's nothing wrong with him that I can find. So that's awesome. So, come back over here. Then I have Little Tahoma. I'm not going to go into detail on these. Little Tahoma. This one doesn't have a name, but it's the Let's Go Riding Horse from the English set, from the English Let's Go Riding set from a few years ago. This is a part of a JCPenney special run set from 1991. This is Kennebec Count. Um, Cloud Nine, Rags to Riches, and these were my first two briars, Misty with her broken leg, <laughs> and Stormy. Then I have Secretariat, um, My Matt, GG Valentine, and Heartbreaker. I have the glossy set too. And then here is another part of the 1991 JCP SR set. I It's like this, I have half of it. There's another two of them, but I don't have them because I got them at an antique store. Then I have the Black Stallion, and mine is like, mine's glossy looking because I, I know the rest of them are matte, but, or matte looking at least, but I don't know if mine's like a variation or what because he's really shiny. Then I have a Grazing Foal from... 1980-something, and then I have Newsworthy, and Thunderstorm, and Secession, I guess, Secession, I'm not sure, and Le Fire. They are not for sale, so don't ask, because I know someone will, and the mare's not even LSQ, like, her nose has rubs. And I I think they came with a hang tag, but I must have thrown it away because I was littler when I got them, so they don't have their hang tags. Or, she doesn't have her hang tag. But then I'll move on to my classics. This is Eclipse. He was a, from a, or no, from a Walmart special run set. And a cougar comes with him, and I'll do my animals later. And then there's... 
uh, Grand Slam and Red Cloud. Then I think this is Shaman. I think that, I don't remember the the exact names of this one. And I think the foal is called Yuma. Maybe I'll put the exact names if they're not right in the description. And then I have El Blanco and Red Bird. And this is from like a little um, craft set. This dapple gray horse. And then I have the um, one of the spirit sets, the moving one. The foal has a broken leg, so I use a mini Uno box to stand him up. And then Rain and Spirit. Then War Admiral and Sea Biscuit. Okay, so War War Admiral, War Admiral and Sea Biscuit. And then I have one Paddock Pal, and he took first at the youth show in his class. So he didn't go. He didn't get me a glossy, but he's still a winner. So I might show him next year if I go. And then I have a Frisian stable mate, and I think this is Tucker from the Elvis set, maybe. And then I have. The Wag Driving Stablemate. Um, this is from a Flicka Stablemate set. This is from a card game. That's from the Flicka set. That's a Tennessee Walking Horse Stablemate. That's a Mustang. Um, a Jumper. And this one is a special run, part of a special run set from Briarfest 2007. I got him free at the youth show for answering the survey. And that was part of the Flicka set too. My Flicka broke and I lost her, so I don't know where she is. And then I have a Chalky. Um, Clydesdale Mare. She has a big scratch on her side, but she is a chalky. So, yeah. And then I have my treasure hunt guys from last year. Fall, summer, spring, and winter. And he took 8th in the uh, Shire class, the U show, 2011. And she got 10th in the Arabian class, which I'm really proud of, like, because that's a huge class. And so, yeah, those are them. And I have Dreamweaver, um, like a limited edition from 2000, or no, 1991. Then I have Coochie and Krypton Sunny the second. So these are all my shelves over here. So that's my new unbox, Pecos. And I kept my Gigi Valentine Heartbreaker box, the matte, or the glossy one. But then over here, I have my favorites. My glossy Gigi Valentine Heartbreaker. And then my absolute pride and joy, my Red Rocket. Focus it. Okay, 